failure is seeing more of a humiliation here in Europe than in the US. A person's diploma, family name, and class matter a lot more to people here than in the US. And therefore, to fail publicly is to bring shame and humiliations to the family name and legacy. In Asian culture, we have something similar too. We don't like to lose face. To Asians, this is the equivalent of losing the respect of others. So it's good to know that in doing business, if you're dealing with an Asian counterpart and you're giving them face publicly, this drastically increases the chance of building a better relationship as well as increasing the chance of doing a good business together. Have you wondered why Asians love buying luxury brands and shoes and handbags? This is to say, I have money and taste, respect. Not saying Americans don't care, but in the US, a lot of people still believe the American dream. They will get rich or at least die trying. And they accept that failure is part of the process. All this worry about failure comes from worrying too much about what others think and it's good to care about it to a certain degree because it ensures the quality of the work you deliver and it ensures some people to at least act decently in front of others. But worrying about it too much also paralyzes us. And you want to know the truth? No one cares about you. Seriously, no one cares about me. If my own mother thinks about me for five minutes per day, haha, <laughs> I consider myself lucky. It's not that they don't love me or no one loves you. It's just everyone has their own problems. So no one cares about your problems. Everyone is thinking about their own problems. So, be completely responsible for yourself and then you have earned the right to screw up and no one can say anything about it. Because you take responsibility for your decisions and you're willing to take the risks to try things out. And yeah, after some risk analysis if you want. And yes, you may make a fool of yourself, but if you can forgive yourself, why does it matter what others think? Maybe they secretly admire your courage. And yes, they may think you're crazy, but so what? And yeah, if you're wondering, yeah, I'm crazy. So what? It's out there. Yeah, Charlotte Han is crazy. Being responsible really just means taking an active role in managing my own life. And like running a business or managing a business, there's the fun part and there's the part that sucks. So I hate doing taxes, but I have a very friendly and helpful story berater and he's saving my life. I'm so responsible, but it's nice to have help. I also hate doing a business plan and I had to do it in German. No disrespect for the language, it was just hard. But through doing the business plan, now at least I know how much I need to make per month to break even. And ta-da! I even have a clean apartment. Okay, it's not sparkly clean, but it's clean. Compared to my room in Taiwan, it was like World War III. Yeah, it happened in my room. So yeah, I had to do things I didn't want to do, but I guess that's part of adulting. And everyone's things they don't want to do are different, but only when we force ourselves to do those things are we really stepping out of the comfort zone. I know it's hard to not care and I wish there's an easy button for it, but no, you really just need to rip the band-aid and stop caring. And guess what? You will stop caring as much. It is difficult not to care about a public fail. I don't want a public fail, but you know, I'm already out there in the public anyways. So I'm in a position to tell you that if you start to let go, you will really care less. Or you can numb yourself from the desire of trying something new for a second. There are many ways to numb yourself with drugs and sex. You can really forget how you feel and your true wishes for a second. You can also mind other people's business and judge them because that surely is easier than fixing your own problems and doing your thing because hey, hey, you don't have to do anything. I have been there. I know how it feels. It feels great, but just for a second. And then you have to find a new person to blame or new problems to blame. Take ownership of your own lives. Jump through the hoops and take risks. And most importantly, Forgive ourselves if we fail, and then that's how we earn the right to screw up. Or you can move to a place far away where no one knows you, that helps too.